ever noticed how miracles seem to happen on the most ordinary days? Well, this turned out to be one of those days. This is Dream Street. They're my favorite group. They're so incredible. They sing and they can dance and they're really cute. There's Greg, Jesse, Frankie, and Matt. But my favorite is Chris Truesdale. In fact, I'm probably his biggest fan. This is my family. That's my mom. She teaches history at my high school. Can you imagine? And that's my dad. He's a postman. Oh yeah, and my brother, Garfield. Let me assume my mother forgot to stock the house with adequate breakfast supplies. Harold, Garfield is growing up to be so smart. Mm, I noticed. But then I noticed everything. I don't miss a trick, by golly. Yeah, Nat. Sure. Regular Sherlock Holmes. Concentrators, especially tangy this morning. You know, I do believe that eventually the dysfunction may catch up with me. But as far as your immediate future, if you could go and get your sister for breakfast, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, the dynamic duel sent me up here to get you. You're gonna be late for school. Again? Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you're gonna keep dancing with your little cardboard friend over there, you really should take some lessons because, uh, that was pathetic. Yeah. <sighs> Later. Whoa!
you gotta keep up. Keep up the energy. Come on. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Yeah. Street. You think your mom could light some candles for him? Wait a minute, is this another one of your mom's lessons about eternal optimism? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. My mom is just like that. She still believes that if you light enough candles and believe in miracles that anything can happen, especially for her favorite little girl. girl. <laughs> it's kind of like my dreams of meeting Mr. Wright before Tuesday and him taking me to the prom. Wait a minute, let's think. It's Friday and the prom is Tuesday. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dream Street! Yes. No matter what I do, I got Dream Street! Dream Street! Okay! Here they are! Dream Street! Oh, they don't understand. No. Oh, oh, oh. They say. Dream Street's coming to LA this weekend and we don't have tickets. Nobody can get tickets. They were sold out in an hour. We could get tickets. You just give up too easy. Give up? What? Never tried. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You don't, you don't look so good. No, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I just need some quiet time so I get some sleep. Oh, you look a little pale. Do I? You know what? I, I think you got a fever. I just need some time alone so I can get some rest, you know? Uh, rest, that's all I need, just a little bit. Uh, without Big Lou. Yeah, man. Just get some sleep. Okay, all right. Well, yell if you need anything. Yeah. <clears throat> I got the shirt for 45. Uh, Hi. Oh, oh. Oh. Dude, let's go get a burger. This food really stinks. <laughs> girls gotta be hungry, right? No. Oh. Dude, come on. I mean, you know these girls don't eat. Um, hold up. Excuse me. Okay, it is not that we don't eat. We're just dieting. Thank you. Sure. Wait, wait. You girls are always dieting. You know, it's really hard to trust a girl who's addicted to yogurt. You know what? Get out of here. I am so upset with you. I don't even want to see you right now. Go. Why don't you go get your burger? Fine. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. No. oh. You know what? Me and you are like so out of their league. So totally. <laughs> Is that a large? You know, a small. <sighs> okay, because like I was gonna say, I'm not hungry. Louis, hey, sweetie. Yeah. Louis and I really worry about your bed. No, you guys, I'm really fine. fine. <clears throat> a little rest, you know. Oh, 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 no rest. I think medicine. Yeah. yeah. Medicine could be good, sweetie. Really good for you. You know, I, I think a break. A break. A break. Yeah, a break. <laughs> no breaks. <laughs> we got a schedule and you have fans. In fact, the other guys are a little worried about you. Yeah. That Frankie's mom came up with this thing. It's a little way shake with, with wheatgrass and all that in there. Does yeah. that sound good? Yeah, just his mom. She got this castor oil. It's supposed to be really good for your throat. Yeah. It sounds more like poison. I mean, are they trying to kill me? No, no. they're not trying to kill you. They're trying to kill me. <laughs> but listen, listen. 
That's why I'm giving it this poultice. What's poultice? Well, uh, it, it's like a penicillin break with, with a bacon oil and then a more hot oil and a towel. Pig fat. You know, like that. Yeah, but, but it's, it's wrapped up in a hot towel and you breathe it in. What do you think? What do you think? Wait, I have this thing from Brazil, sweetie. You love that. It's really good for you. Is it exotic? Yeah. Put a little here. A little bit behind your ear. It's gonna make you feel better. How is this gonna help behind my ear? It's gonna make you feel better. My mom. I want some? It's it's nasty. What is this? No, I gotta get ready for my show. You know. Chris, it's gonna lay me. It's gonna. You want some? Yeah, put some of that on there. they get tickets because Montana's dad has some stupid DJ game. <laughs> Why can't my parents have cooler jobs? Please. My dad has a store that sells paint and my mom just sits around and watches it dry. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait for the concert to oh, I know, I can hardly stand it. <laughs> uh, how amazing are we to be the only girls in this obnoxious school who can get tickets? I know, that is so sad. I mean, so sad. It really is. <sighs> oh, I love me! <laughs> I love me too! Kiss, kiss. Oh. <laughs> you are so cute. It's ah. cute. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. Hi, Montana. Guess what? Debbie and I are going to the concert too. We have tickets. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and you are? Debbie's best friend, Charlotte. <laughs> He's a behind me in bio. Debbie has friends. Well, I guess it all makes sense. I mean, look at you. <laughs> Completely. I am glad to see that we all have something in common. <laughs> right. We probably won't be seeing you at the concert tonight. You know, way in the back. We've got fifth row seats and backstage passes. <laughs> We're in the third row. You have third row seats? <laughs> right, and I am Cindy Crawford, and she is Vendela. <laughs> you know what, ladies, ladies, you're looking a little pudgy. I don't know, not throwing up. Let's get out of here. Not funny. I'm out. That's just about, you know, 10, 15 pounds. Why did you tell them that? They called us losers. Yeah, well, now we will be when the whole school finds out that we lied. You know, we could scalp tickets. You know I want to go to the concert. <laughs> All right, then. Look, I don't know how much the tickets are, but I have a few dollars in the bank. That's for your cosmetology school. I know, but Deb, this is important. I am not letting those bimbos think that we're losers. No way. Are you going to bet your tuition on a concert? <laughs> Look, hey, I may not believe in much, and I certainly do not believe in your boy bands, but I believe in you, and you're worth it. <laughs> now stop hugging me, you're making me blush. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, buddy, I, I told you that we cared. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, thanks a lot. Huh? Hey, there's something that, that I tried a long time ago that worked for me. Oh, that's the best. And I want to try it, okay? You ready? But you got to be open for it, all right? Okay, I'm open. Okay, be open right. for it. Hey, could you disappear this weekend? I've got a date. What? Yeah, a date. You know, an experience you can't have for several reasons, such as look sprains and, oh yeah, you need a partner. Okay, Garfield. You know, you really need to repent. You need to just turn your back on all these posters and walk away. Could just save your life. Why don't you try to be a little nicer to me? Why don't you try to encourage me for a change? Okay, fine. Give your posters another chance. Jeez. Maybe if you bought a few more posters, you could uh, actually have the chance of meeting one of them. Hey, you, uh, you guys need tickets? Yeah. Come here. What do you want to spend? 
Fifty dollars. I can't help you. Well, um, what can you do for two hundred dollars? For two hundred, I could show you something, but uh, you might not like it. Um. All right. Five hundred dollars. That's it. For that, I can help you. You can. You can. Now about third row center. Third row? Are you serious? Are you serious? Shh. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here. All right. Let me see the money first. All right, all right, even exchange. <laughs> Enjoy the show, ladies. Have a good time. Dream Street tickets. Dream Street tickets. Thank you. Somehow I feel my entire life is gonna change tonight. Thank you, Charlotte. This is brilliant. Brilliant? Well, absolutely fabulous. Let's just take you to go see Chris. <laughs> Tickets. Third row center. I'm sorry for last night's concert. What? Check the date. <laughs> I can't believe this. Far from scalpers, huh? Sorry. Tickets. I'll tell Chris you said bye. See you Monday. Oh, everybody. We'll see you Monday. So sorry. Bye bye. Tickets. <laughs> your parents you're supposed to be sleeping at my house I'll tell them I feel sick it's true <sighs> you know so much for miracles this is real life a world full of sleazeballs liars and thieves I told you Deb yeah bye okay. Do you realize that you're my everything? You're my one and only. And as long as I have you, <coughs> nothing else matters. Without your love,
seven, Murray three, seven, Murray three, cold third eye blind, third eye blind. We got a couple of lip biscuits rolling at the corner of Lincoln Park and Cypress Hill. Ten four. Well, I'm just gonna have to grab you by the ankles there and yank you out, okay? Okie dokie, you ready? Back. Saturday. Good morning, baby. <laughs> Good morning, honey. I don't know. What do I care? Listen, I think this whole thing is some kind of conspiracy against me, like from my ex-wife. Now look, I have been knocked out for two days in a row. Doesn't this sound a little bit suspicious uh, to you, Mr. Limp? No, not limp. Limb, limb, no limp, limb. Whatever. Please ask, what are you being charged with? Not credit card. But criminal charge. Uh, uh, right, okay. Uh, 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 what am I being charged with? Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Driving while under the influence. Driving under the influence. <laughs> Indecent exposure. Mm -hmm. Indecent exposure. Yeah, and any dang thing else we can think of. Sleaze ball. Mm -hmm. And anything. Think. Else we can think of space bomb. This is really gonna cost you. There's something about me that you don't know about. I'm someone that somehow you seem to be without. Is it so hard to see that? Charlotte Bear. Oh, good morning, Debbie. How's my favorite little girl this morning? I'm finally It's really important that I speak to Charlotte now, please. Debbie, have you lost your voice? No, I'm supposed to whisper sometimes. May I please speak to Charlotte, please, now, please, hurry, please. Oh, right, 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 right. Hold on just a second. Charlotte! I'm sleeping. It's Debbie. Sounds like a life or death situation. Oh, these girls are such drama queens. Mom, can I have a little bit of privacy here? Yeah, okay, sure. Hello? Chris Truesdale is in my bed. Yeah, cool. I've got DiCaprio on mine. Charlotte, listen to me. Chris is in my bed. What do I do? What do I do? Come on. Deb, Deb, listen to me. If this is about last night, please think about me for a second here. I'm not kidding! but I'm the one that's had all this money here. You spent all that money on DiCaprio? <laughs> no, Mom. Then what's he doing near your bed? Hi. Hi. I'm... Uh, I'm Debbie. I'm Chris. Where am I? Um, uh, 461 Iron Mill Road. Where's that? Santa Monica? Oh my gosh. The concert. Did I... Did you... I mean, did we come here together? I'll pack us a lunch because I think that it'd be better. Look. Yeah, I went through it, but I just told you it's a lot of mayo and some lettuce. Did I knock? I knocked. Didn't I knock, Harold? I always knock. Yes, I've heard her knock many times. Well, what are you doing in here? I've forgotten. What are we doing in here? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Your mom uh, thought that we should spend some private bonding time with ourselves together. I think I could use a little privacy myself. Oh, good. Well, that works out well, doesn't it? We all need our time. Our starts now. We'll be back at five. Okay, have a nice time. All right, dear. All right. Okay, all right. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Oh. Harold. Listen. 
I have no idea how I got in your bed. Uh, well... Hey, when are you gonna be out of here? Christina's gonna be here any minute. Stop it, Garfield! Come on, let me in. Jeez, you have plenty of time to have Vampire introduce you to other losers. That's not very nice, come on. Yeah, well, nice or not, a deal's a deal. I'll give you $40 to take Christina out for the day, okay? Make it a Benjamin and me guys have a deal. Fine. Great, nice doing business with you. Bye. that kid 16 i swear when he grows up he's gonna have more interns than bill clinton uh listen i gotta go go right now yeah i'm really sorry about all this uh, why don't you have some breakfast before you leave uh, yeah sure yeah what would you like to eat you're gonna cook me breakfast how do you like your eggs i don't know how do you like yours hard <laughs> i mean cooked Boil, boil. Can I use your bathroom? Um, uh, good idea. All I was doing was playing my bongos. And the next thing I know, this cop drags me into this place. <laughs> well, believe it or not, Limbo, playing with your bongos in public is a felony. Now you tell me. So, uh, you're 15, right? sophomore. In two years, I'll be a senior. Then I'll be 17. But I'm only 15 now. You're 17, right? Yeah. So in two years, I'll be your age. <laughs> but then, of course, you'd be two years older. Right. I'll be right back. Wow, the food looks good. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah. Pull it together, Debbie. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Calm down. You could do this. You could do this. You. All right. Just stay calm. Stay cool. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? I am now. There. It's not what it looks like on TV. I mean, I never have one minute to myself. There's always some place to be something to do, somebody I have to talk to. The world loves you, Chris. I mean, that's a blessing. I just, I can't do it anymore. What else would you do? I don't know. Stay here with you. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you could if you wanted to. I mean, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I can't, are you kidding? <laughs> Why not? I mean, come on, I got a sleeping bag. I can stay in my room. You want me to stay here with you in your sleeping bag? Yeah. What about your parents? 
My mom teaches hippie history at the high school. I mean, my dad's a postman. They're gone all day, and plus, when they're home, they're completely oblivious. And you, Hefner? Let's just say he'll always take a bribe. You're not kidding, are you? I have never been more serious in my entire life. Fine. I'm staying. What is such a big deal that you had to hang up on me? Hey, Charlotte. This is Chris. Hey. You mean those candles actually work? What? Um, inside joke. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna grab a drink. You want something? Sure. Uh, you? Could, could you just give me an aquavite? Sure. Thanks. I know that you are dying right now because I'm having a heart attack here. Dying? I can barely breathe when he stands next to me. Does it show? Did he kiss you yet? Charlotte! What? what happened? I don't know. I woke up and he was in my bed. What did you do? Totally freaked out, called you, and then just, like, tried to watch him sleep. Wait a minute. You had Chris Truesdale in your bed and you got up to call me? Yeah. Maybe my mom should light some candles for you. Maybe she already did. No. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> So, are you familiar with Chris Truesdale of Dream Street? What street? Dream Street. They're a very popular boys' band. Don't tell him anything. I'm your lawyer. That's my job. I'll tell him anything. And what, you think I got him? Come on, boys' bands are popping up all over the place. So, what do you have against boys' bands? I like girls' bands myself. They think I've got them buried in my front yard. What kind of an idiot would bury people in the front yard? What? I, I was, I, 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 my point. Don't tell, tell him anything. Don't tell him anything. Nothing, nothing. nothing. No, no. Are I'm, you calling my client an idiot? idiot? Debbie, just a minute. Uh, I think your parents are home. Oh my gosh, hide! Yeah, yeah. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah. Go, go, come on. Where? They're gonna be here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so coming to the door. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know. Go upstairs. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, just go to my room. Go to my room. Oh my gosh, they're almost here. They're almost here. Run! I'm going. Hi, Mom. Oh. oh. Thank you, dear. How was your bonding time? Oh, your father's allergy started acting up again. Yeah, sometimes a man needs a little help. But you guys had fun, right? Well, you know what I always say. If your father's unhappy, I'm, I'm unhappy. unhappy. Yeah, so how was your own private time this morning? Um, I, I got some time to do some studying. Oh. <sighs> you notice how she's starting to act just like Garfield? Of course I noticed. Details are my life. Carol, get the door. Don't! Oh. If you would clean the house a little better, we would not have to hear dancing rats all of the time. <laughs> That's so funny, dancing rats. What sort of dance do you think rats do? I don't know. Macarena. It's not the point. These noises in the ceiling have to come from someplace. Noises? I didn't hear anything. Am I the only one around here who pays attention to detail? You are so observant, honey. That's one of the reasons I love you so much. Thank you, honey. Excuse me, guys. Have you seen Excuse Chris? Lloyd, 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 what's the matter, baby? Chris is gone. What do you mean he's gone? My life is over. What are you talking about? Honey, oh. Chris is going to be here. Don't worry about are it. You I know. Sure? I know. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, breathe. 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 Show the picture, show there, there you go. Look. Oh, where's the cute one? Oh, no. Okay. He's going to be here, baby. Don't worry. It's, he's going to be here. Don't you worry. Oh, just relax. Oh, come on. Trap 
trapped in a cage no one can see. All alone in misery. My life I want cannot be mine. So I wait and count the time. This food stayed here overnight? Uh, yeah. Don't you remember eating that yesterday? Of course I remember. Why would I forget what everybody ate yesterday? I remember everything. What were you asking about? <laughs> I was just wondering what time we're gonna have dinner tonight. Oh, we're gonna eat about six, honey. Okay, well, I have to catch up on my homework, so would it be okay if I ate upstairs? This is our daughter. So smart, so dedicated to her work. I knew that. Are you sure you don't want to take a little break, honey? We don't want you to burn out. It's important to balance your schoolwork with your family obligations and chores, especially your chores. Right. So I'll come downstairs, get my food, and then I'll eat in my room. Sure. Great. Thanks, Mommy. Mm. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'm worried. Why? Does she look chubby to you? No. So, now you have an eating disorder? Someday I wish you were nicer to me. I am very nice to you, and I care a lot about your health. Did you know it's unhealthy to substitute food for male attention? <sighs> Watching you makes it very hard to keep my sanity. Was it something I said? Okie dokie, knock him up. neighbor. Nice to see ya. How you doing? Uh, when you were just sitting around doing nothing two nights ago, did you happen to hear... <laughs> um, I'm really not sure. It was kind of dark two nights ago. Oh, right. I remember that. Yeah. But did you happen to see... Nope. Didn't nope. see anything. We haven't even asked you yet. Oh. Well, um, please proceed. Did you happen to see? Freeze, please, Bo! <laughs> Daniel, son, you do much TV. Oh. Um. Wait a minute. Was this like two nights ago? Um, yeah, sounds right. Nope. Nope, didn't see anything. In fact, I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, very suspicious, don't you know? Mm hmm. Okie dokie, right. Do you know if he was thinking about taking a vacation? Well, I know he went insane once, but that's only like a five-minute drive from here. Okay. Thank you very much. We don't want to bother you. Take more of your time. Bye-bye. Very good. Lots of good information. So polite. I think so, too. Yeah. Thanks for letting me use your stuff. Sure. Thanks for doing all this for me. I get home from church. I mean, my family goes every week. Uh, sure. Um, I'll wait for you. But I haven't gone to church in a long time. Yeah, I learned to sing there, but I haven't gone. I'll, I'll wait for you. I promise. I never thought that I could miss the touch of your hand or just one kiss.
I hug Chris Truesdale. Chris Truesdale is living in my room. Can you believe this? I know, I know. Every time you think you've got this crazy world figured out, something like this happens. I'm glad it happened to me. Me too. Uh-oh, here come the losers. Aw, did you two cry your eyes out because you couldn't see Chris? Uh, you know, we saw him, and he looked hot. You know what? I heard he saw you guys, too, and then ran away. Don't encourage them. <laughs> Don't encourage them. <laughs> you guys would know nothing about Chris. I am so sure, because he would never go to a nerd convention. <gasps> oh, Burn. Bye bye <laughs> Just, just scroll this. Look, we're gonna... No, no, that was in the book of Matthew. Oh, yes, that's correct. Book of yes. Matthew. You're right, I remember. Whoa. I love going to church. It even makes the living room seem cleaner. Yes, it does look nicer, doesn't it? A cleaner living room is like a spiritual experience. I couldn't agree with you more. We just need a little more God in the kitchen. M Mom, I think I'm going to go do my homework now. Oh, that's great, honey. I'm so glad to see you take such an interest in your studies. But at the expense of more godliness in the kitchen. Harold, I can handle the kitchen, right? Honey, you do what you need to do. Thanks, Mom. With all this homework, she's falling way behind in her chores, you know. Harold, do you think she's a little nervous lately? My observation is she's just trying to avoid her chores. And that's a disease that seems to be contagious around here. I might add. Why are you so surprised? She's so dysfunctional, she's dedicated her life to her four walls of Dream Street posters. Oh, but honey, at least she has goals. Staring at posters shouldn't be considered anybody's goal. Have a little faith in your sister, Garfield. Yes, Garfield. I see her growing up to be just like you. Oh. Uh -huh. <sighs> Unbelievable. The door. I knew that. My parents are so annoying. It's like it's like I'm a slave or something. You're so lucky you don't have to do chores. I do. I did your living room. Ooh, well, doesn't that make you special? No, seriously, can you imagine parents any more annoying than mine? My mom. She gave a nasty story about me to the press. She did. Yeah, she was mad at me or something. It's pretty bad. Yeah. How about your dad? My dad. Um, my dad left when I was five. He wasn't too happy about the whole child thing, <clears throat> so he decided to leave. But as soon as I got famous, he's trying to get back in touch with me or something. I'm sorry. It's okay. It comes with the territory. Hey, don't you have homework to do or something? Yeah, it's algebra. I hate it. Oh, I rock it, algebra. Are you serious? Yeah. Great. You want to no. help? <laughs> I'll help you. Really? Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Mm -hmm. So what do you have in class? It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of, it's just a matter of time. Fission and fusion, what's the difference between fission and fusion? 
It's just what I do with my grandpa on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love your singing. Thanks. Is that it? The two and blue again. You know, I hate to sound like a broken record, but have you seen this fella here in the middle of the CD picture? No. Have you seen this one? No. Great. We're even then. Well, now that we have that settled, are you familiar with Chris Truesdale of Dream Street? Wait a minute. Chris Truesdale? The one that kind of looks like this? Kind of sings like, Ooh, girl! Definitely not. Thank you very much. We don't mean to be a bother. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye now. Hey, you want to go to the gun store and just look around? Bullets. Yeah, okay. Destiny's Child. This one. Ah, Dream Street. Now that's a good CD. I got a surprise for you a little later on tonight. What is it? You'll see. Jump this table. Just walk up. Well, I'm gonna fall away on my butt. <laughs> that was great. I haven't played it in years. I mean, that was awesome. Hey, look at the moon. Yeah, the moon. Somehow I feel like all my dreams have been about this moment. It's nice to have dreams, you know? Don't you like it? Like what? <laughs> Sitting here with me. <laughs> I mean, looking at the moon. You know something? Sitting here uh, just made me realize a big part of my life been about the act. You know what I mean? Explain it to me. All those girls that come to our concerts and scream our name, mm -hmm. they don't really love me or even know me. They probably don't even know what love is. But neither do I. So how's high school? It's all right, you know. Is, is it cool or? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Actually, I hate it. I'm sorry, but I'm just, I'm not exactly what you'd call popular <laughs> or anything. <laughs> you know something? Sitting here, I, I feel like I can trust you. You can. Huh? 
Honey? Gabby? Sweetie, are you getting ready for school? Harold? Harold, I think Debbie's in the shower. Don't you think we should leave? You know how she's been about her privacy recently. No problem. I'm just having trouble finding my government-issued postal shorts. Oh, well, they're on the chair where you left them. Well, you know, if I knew which chair I left them on, I could go retrieve them right now. You know what I'm saying to you? Yes, I know what you're saying to me. So which chair was it now? Well, it's the big orange one downstairs. <sighs> We're out of colored marshmallow cereal again. Oh, no. I just bought a great big box yesterday. Look, I specifically asked that we have a continuous supply of breakfast cereal in this house. Now, I don't ask much from this gene pool, so colored marshmallow cereal just doesn't seem like too much to ask for. What are you guys doing in my room? Oh, honey, I knock. I don't care. You guys cannot come in my room unless you're invited. But I knock. I knock. Didn't I knock, Harold? Yes, you did, dear, but Debbie is changing the rules. Knocking doesn't count. Invitations do. I don't remember that rule, really. Just, just please, get out, get out. Come on, go, go, right. go, get go, out. go. What are you suggesting, that we leave? Yes. That was a close one. Mm. Listen, I want to go to school with you. What? I'm serious. I never got to go. I was always tutored. I mean, come on. Everybody's going to recognize you. Listen, it's better than being under this bed. <laughs> <laughs> Visitors pass. Get a high wind every year around. Sweeping my head to my toe. Got to get my feet back on the ground. I was a lot younger then. So was I. Now, class, what is the reason Winston Churchill led so effectively? Yes, young man? Um, people like to create heroes. And then they imbue them with almost superhuman attributes. It's human nature to create the myth that there's somebody with a unique ability to lead them to the promised land and solve their problems. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Have you noticed that Chris has been missing from all the Dream Street interviews lately? Well, where do you think he might be? Ashley, you have not earned the right to speak yet. No. So where do you think he might be? Probably far away from here. Do you think he's hurt? What, like somebody messed up his hair or something? No, even worse. What could be worse than messing up his hair? Well, um, I don't know. Good question. I'm, I have no idea what could be worse than messing up his hair. <laughs> I can't believe people actually fall asleep in class. Can you blame him? She's about as exciting as a piece of cardboard. Um, next, uh, we have history, right, with Mrs... Warden. Is that your mom? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't worry about it, remember? She won't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan was so very important to the 60s, all right? He defined how my generation felt about itself. So, here's the question. Why is the music you listen to so important to who you are? Yes. Because if you know the music someone listens to, you can virtually know everything about the person's life. I mean, our music is what we're all about. Yes, well, you must be our visitor. Yes. Well, I hope you're finding us hospitable. Yes, I am. I'm finding you very hospitable, ma'am. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, listen, I know what time we're supposed to be there. Uh-huh. Don't you worry. <laughs> we'll all be there. Don't you worry. I, uh, you got my word on it. Lou's word. Okay, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, um, we all need to be tough. We all need to be professionals. We all need to hang in there as a team. We're a team. We're a team. Yeah, we're a team. I, I know you guys are the posse, and I know you won the contest, and I, I, I know you're probably really disappointed, as as I am very disappointed. But I, uh, I think we need to just buck up and hang in there. We are a team. <laughs> I'm the leader of the team, and all you guys just follow right behind old Lou, okay? Everything will be fine. Lou, can I ask you a question? Uh, what? What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna get up in the morning and remind myself to breathe. And hopefully, with time, I won't have to remind myself anymore because somebody might just strangle me! Lou, look what you did to the girls. They're all afraid now. Nobody's gonna strangle me. I just get a little, you know, I get a little emotional. <laughs> like, really emotional when someone isn't where I want them to be. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Come on. Let's see. This is nice. I try to see a world without you, but for me, it can never exist. I think I would end my life without your angelic kiss. Soft and gentle, you reach for me with your arms so strong and warm. I open my eyes and look at you. It's here that I belong. You're the one, and I know that I have never loved anyone else before. Thanks to you, I am free to be all the things I want to be. You make me want to be a better me. <laughs> this is really good. This could be a song. Thanks. What am I doing? Yeah. You do? I know, yeah, okay, okay, okay. You were scaring those girls earlier. I know what they well, Yeah, exactly. Well, they jumped. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. You gotta be strong. You gotta be professional for the kids. For the fans, it's you have hard. to. It's hard. Look at you, me, you have to. It's hard when you have to do everything. Everything. I, I do. know, I know, but you're the man. I am the man. You gotta be, be strong. Trying to be the man. Chris, every moment you awake, look at the world with brand new eyes. He might have missed a nice surprise. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Thank you. So, are you going to the prom? Sure, I got 15 offers. How'd you like to go with me? I don't want to go with Clark Kent. I want to go with Superman. No disguises. I mean, come on, is that too much to ask? You've been with the real Chris all weekend. I know, but I mean, I also know that you're going to be going away soon. And I want to live out this fantasy a little longer. Sure. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Then she said, you look like Chris from Jane Street. Listen, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get a drink. I'll get back. He asked me to the prom. He asked you to the prom? He asked me to the prom. He asked you to the prom? He asked me to the prom. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 
are we gonna do? What are, what are you gonna do? I have to fix your hair. We've got to. It's like I always believed that this was gonna happen, but now that it's here, I'm Deb, really. Deb, Deb, listen to me, okay? Just make the best of this one for as long as you can. You actually found Mr. Right before Tuesday. You're going to the prom. We're going to the prom. <laughs> going to the prom. <laughs> oh, man. Do you think you can make me look pretty? I'm gonna make you look like a supermodel. We're gonna kick his butt. Let's go. <laughs> to me. You better find him on the first try or you're going to be digging all the way to Japan, okay? I'm trying to tell you there is no one buried in my front lawn. Huh. <laughs> you got the wrong house, buddy. Uh, no. Uh, I'm looking for Debbie. Oh, um, did she win you in one of those contests or something? Oh my gosh. And that's what I'm talking about. Hey. Yeah, you look amazing. Thank you. I got this for you. Don't bring her back too late. Together with The moment I saw you was the very moment I knew that falling in love with her side was truly possible. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, how did Debbie get a Chris Truesdale look alike? That is so totally weird. <laughs> Kind of look like him. Are you having a good time? I'm having an incredible time. I don't know. 
Remember when you were talking about how you wanted Superman and not Clark Kent? Well, I mean, are you okay with this disguise stuff? It's not a disguise to me, Chris, because I know who you are. I just... I just want more for you than this. What could be more? Wait right here. I'll be right back. I promise. Stay right here, okay? All right, I'll be right back. But... But Chris... Oh, that is pathetic! Oh, oh my DJ dad has got to see this. How embarrassing! No. No. <laughs> All right, forget it. It's over. Did he mess? No. You're good. Uh, Ugh. Superman, right? Are you ready? Absolutely. Let's go. Excuse us, we'd like some privacy. Wait, we? Yeah, we. I'm on a date with Debbie Warden. You guys should know her real well. You're so busy tormenting her. Oh my goodness, no, we love Debbie. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, sure you do. I, you know, I don't know how Debbie finds one kind word to say to you guys. She's the only cool girl in school. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't like you. Lou, 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 I'm, I'm really sorry, man. It was all my fault. I just don't. I, I couldn't Hi, take fans. I, I could. Well, thanks to my lovely daughter, Montana Wastenberg, I think most of you know her, I'm about to interview the wonderful Chris Truesdale. Hi. Chris, what brings you here to the marvelous campus? I you don't have to answer anything. Please, else. please, this is uh, my interview, okay? All right. How'd you get to the gym? Well, I, I drove my group's uh, tour. Uh, hey, group. interview is over. It's over. That's it. That's it. Look, Tiny, you are ruining my moment here. Listen, you poo-poo head. Okay, you Your it. moment has ruined. That's enough. Lou, I'm fine, man. Just, just You're all right? I'm fine. I'm well, just... let, let's go, then. Let, let's go. Hey, you know what? That's a fine the toupee you have. Debbie. Hey, come on. Debbie, I'm sorry. Debbie. Cut. Debbie. Is it leaking? The 
though you're so many miles away from me, I just want you to know, I will never forget you. Sitting here in my room alone, got the radio on, and it's playing a song. I keep your picture beside my bed, and as I hold it so close, I keep hearing Saying I love you And wherever I am I'm thinking of you So until you Half not whole, but I pray you come back because I love you and I want you to know I'm thinking of you every hour of the day, baby. I'll send my love to you straight from the heart, baby. I miss you. Oh, I do, baby. I miss you. I feel you so. isn't the little POW. What do you want? No, actually, I believe the question is, what do you want? I was gonna get a drink. Right. Look, the way I see it, what you need is a plan. You know, so you can go see Chris in concert tonight? Hadn't crossed my mind, actually. Yeah, right. Look, sis, gotta hand it to you. You got more guts than I thought. Hey, come on, hiding a superstar in your room for a few days? It's a classic. Hey! You're not gonna be stupid enough not to see Chris after he's called you like 10,000 times already, are you? What? Uh, yeah. Tweedledum and Tweedledum have been taking turns screening calls. I can't believe the guy. He just keeps calling and calling and calling. It's really ridiculous now. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Leave it to me. Got it all covered. The best thing of all, it won't cost you a cent. You're gonna do me a favor? Let's just say I've got us both covered on this one. Garfield. I really do love you. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Time's wasted. <laughs> Even though it's a Dream Street concert, you don't have to go in your pajamas. Come on, put some clothes on, put okay, some makeup, okay. whatever you do. Go, 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 okay, go, go. Hurry. Jeez. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'm sure it was him. The guy was here for like a week. I didn't even sell his autograph. Oh, come on, what do you mean, how did I get it? What do you think I did in my spare time? Hello? Yeah, of course, me and Chris, we're like this. Yeah, we're tight. Oh, yeah. Hey, by the way, how do you spell Truesdale? Oh, thanks. Young lady, just where do you think you're going? I have to do this, Mom.
I know sometimes you think I don't know what's going on, but I've loved your father since the first time I saw him. My parents weren't supportive and that was very hard on me. Whether you know it or not, Debbie, I trust your judgment. So, if you think this guy is right for you, if you think that he'll be nice to you and really take care of you, then I want you to go to that concert and spend some time with him. I love you, darling. I want you to be happy, okay? Oh, I love you, Mommy. I love you, too. You, cover up. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I was this morning. Bye. What? You're just gonna let her go? Oh, Harold, she's in love. At 15? Oh, we've been together since we were in high school. You're right. I always knew your mom was sharper than she pretends. You had faith in my mom. I mean, I just never believed that anything like this could ever happen. Like my mom? <laughs> your mom straightens out. Chris falls in love with you. We don't even have tickets to this concert. I know we're getting in this time. I guess miracles can happen. Wait, what if we don't get in? We will. <laughs> okay, what should I say when I see him? Just please don't rap. <laughs> I don't know, just kiss him or something. I would die on the spot. Yeah, but what a glorious way to go. <gasps> Get out of my way, people! Oh, Let's go! Hey, you guys staying away from scalpers these days? Uh -huh. <laughs> I felt so bad for you last time. Yeah, well, we're guests of Chris Truesdale this time. Really? So you're Debbie Warden. <laughs> How'd you know? Today, everybody's Debbie Warden. Yeah, but this is the real Debbie Warden. Well, I guess you'll know the answer to the test question then, won't you? Test question? For the tickets, ladies, who is Garfield? What? Like I said, no Garfield, no tickets. Well, Garfield's my brother. Wait, can you imagine having a brother that always dresses like Hugh Hefner? Uh, you don't sound pleased. You don't have to live with him. I can only dream. You actually get to live with him? <laughs> Wait a minute, did he put you up to this? You know, Garfield told me you guys were coming in. You know what? You be Montana Weisenberg and you be Brittany Holland today. And you know what? We'll take their backstage passes. Thank you. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> hey, all you Dream Street fans. We got Chris Truesdale tonight in the studio with us. Hey, hey what's Chris. up, everybody? Yeah, I'd like to dedicate tonight's concert to Debbie Warden, someone who knows the real me and is still my biggest fan. Oh, yeah, and taking the band's equipment truck and crashing it into her neighbor's yard was the best thing that ever happened That's to That's it. That's him. Thanks, Chris. That's the kid. The, the boys band kid. Yeah? He admits he stole his own bus. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brittany Holland, and this is my friend Montana Weisberg, daughter of... Well, then you have our front row tickets. And backstage passes. Sorry, girls, but Chris Truesdale found out how fake you two were and totally lost his cookies. You can't be serious. And I also understand that Chris is suing your father for invasion of privacy. So I guess he's off the guesses, too. So sorry. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> stars in the sky Every cloud that rolls by And I think of you I whisper I wish With everything that I am I'll do all that I can Cause baby I I just want you to see Right out of my dreams 
dream Like nothing I'd ever seen And I will love you Wow. I guess miracles can happen, and some dreams really do come true. Don't you just love it when a plan works? <laughs> well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh
just want someone to hold me tonight Oh, yeah Somebody who's holding me tight Oh, well, well Alright I wanna get together with you Thank you. Love you guys.